Yo, what is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly? Illmatic fish, keep it fucking dope. You watch Aqua Funk Quality with me, Aqua Funk. This is a very special, special edition of Aqua Funk, and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, this, this, this video is dedicated to one of my great, great, great supporters. Um, I wish I could remember his name though. It was like, like Derek uh, Baggington or Bagginston or, but so, let's just call him D Bag. All right, and D Bag has some very colorful and um, enthusiastic things to say about my last video. In fact, this video is in reaction to my last video. It's actually um, a retraction video, um, a correction video on this video that I did last week right here. Um, yellow, my yellow, my yellow convict. Um, so this video is to clear up a mistake on my part and to honor D-Bag. All right, so before we get into D bag and this colorful commentary, let's talk about this awesome little fish I have that I thought was a yellow convict. It is a blue-eyed cichlid, still in the same family as the yellow convict and the black convict, but it's a blue-eyed cichlid. It's actually called I'm a tear this. I'm a tear. Look, y'all know, hey, Funkadelics, y'all know good and well. I can't say these Latin names, but I'm gonna give it a shot and I'm gonna write it so you can figure it out for yourself. Uh, I have it written down right there. Amartinlania Marnia Marina Mar Anyway, that's what it's called now What it used to be called is Crypto Hero That I could say Marina But that's not what it is It's in the Amartinlania family um, Along with the black convict And as you know, convicts are prolific So, these guys um, supposedly breed readily now I've had them for a while and all they've done is hide I haven't even seen these guys for months honestly because they're real skittish every time I go to the tank they dart before I even get close to the tank to get a good look at them so I, I didn't really get to see them when I switched tanks because I was almost had a catastrophe um, if you guys saw even a little bit of the old video that I took down no longer exists um, you would see where I was I almost had a, 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 a complete shelf failure you know what I mean but when I moved them to the new tank they decided they wanted to breed and be a little bit more outgoing and, and swimming around the tank. And the female, honestly, the female um, grew a black mask and, and got a little bit more. Yeah, they both got more yellowish. Um, I even could see some striping on the feet. So, look, um, it's easy to make the mistake. As D-Bag points out, I'm, I'm going to get into D-Bag and you know what, I'm going to get into some other things um, concerning that video. This, that video was like, woo, a big deal for some people like, um, and I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video. But this fish, um, like I said, it gets, uh, it's in the convict family. It is a cares fish, so it is endangered. I don't know the level of endangered it is. I don't know how critical it is, but it really don't matter because <clears throat> their numbers in the wild are dropping. They come from um central america um panama and um um costa rica area and the banana farming and the chemicals and all that runoff going into the water is really messing with their numbers so we we have to protect this fish so if you have the opportunity to grab a pair of these fish like i said the males um and females are easily to tell easy to tell apart and breed them so that we can up their numbers in the hobby so we wouldn't have you know maybe we can i don't know maybe we could throw some back in a while i don't know what cares people do you know what I mean? But um, I know it's important that we breed these fish. Speaking of that, um, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a clip of the old video where I set people on fire. <laughs> so it's all about the whole prevention and cares. And so don't hybridize these fish, okay? Um, because they're endangered. I'm not one to tell people what to do with their fish. You know, but right now, while their numbers are low, we don't want to put them in community tanks, especially with conv convicts. We want to keep them separated in their own tank so they could be prolific and uh, we can go ahead and, and, and help this fish out. Speaking of tank, they don't need a whole lot. You know what I mean? Um, a 20 long, you could rock a pair. Um, and, and if you really, really want to be nice, a 40 breeder, you know, would do them just, just fine. In fact, it would be, you know, really awesome for them to have 40 breeders so they have room to raise their fish. And it'd be less work on you because they're pretty good parents. Like I said, they come from Panama, Costa Rica area. Um, their, water, their water is actually pretty fast moving. So um, a lot of uh, uh, heavy filtration is, is pretty much um, 
uh, recommended. Like I, I think the reason why they they did better in the other tank is because in the other tank it was a smaller tank with a hang on the back filter and um, the sp the sponge filter, which you know all that water movement might have got their you know, their, you know what I'm saying they got their juices flowing. They started breeding sandy bottom rocks. You know, because they like to dig out, make caves and stuff. You could put a pot in there, but I can tell you the ones that I have, they really don't even mess with the pot. They like digging out their own crevices in between the boulder rocks and doing their own thing. That's where they spawn and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. I talked about the growth rate. Like I said, you know, males about five inches, females three and a half. Food, they're omnivorous, but they are sickly. So you want to lean towards the meaty side. Um, temperature, get 80, 82. You know what I mean? Make, make it nice and warm. pH. Mine are not pH um, finicky, you know. I I got mine. I think my my last time I checked tap water pH is checked. Um, it's changed. So the last time I checked, my pH was seven point eight, seven point eight. Yeah, seven point eight. So the uh, the the pH they're sickly, just like the just the way you would keep a convict, except heavy water flow, you know. Behavior. Let's talk about behavior for a second, cause cause in in in. In doing research on them, they'll say that they're semi-aggressive, and they're actually kind of mean. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, so just the whole convict thing. Um, they're pretty. They're, they're on the aggressive side of semi-aggressive, no doubt. And during breeding, they're killers. In fact, I had to separate mine um, after this. You, you, I didn't show it on this, but um, the male really put a whooping on that female because he wanted to guard the, the babies, um, which he did a crappy job at it. But he wanted to. Be, so anyway, he whooped up. I mean, I. Like, God dang, chill out, man. Don't do like her, her like that, you know? So, all in all, I didn't get the fish that I thought I wanted. But I've seen this fish even less. So, I think this fish is even rarer in the hobby. I think so. I don't know. I don't live everywhere. I'm not perfect, D bag. Call him D bag. <laughs> I'm real happy with this fish. I, I'm, I'm ecstatic that I have it. Uh, it this, I really would like to breed these fish out. But when I put them in this um, tank, it has a hang on the back filter. I didn't expect them to breathe so quickly. It was literally, as soon as I put them in the tank, within three days, I saw fry. No, it wasn't no three days. It was, within a week, I saw fry. So they started spawning immediately. But the problem was, is I didn't know they was going to do that. And um, I had a hang on the back filter with no, no, uh, no stocking over it. So they probably got sucked up the filter. But I'm going to do better next time. Okay. 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 Y'all ready? We're going to talk about that other video we're going to talk about d-bag and we're going to talk about people getting all <laughs> he said this and he said that oh I, st I i set some people off just nasty just whole disaster just just mayhem water everywhere terrible terrible events all right so look before we go any further, do me a favor, hit that notification bell um, and that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and leave a comment. I love your comments and share. This channel will not grow unless you guys help out. Just slide your little thumb up and hit that subscribe button. Slide it over the side, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about these beautiful fish. Tell me what you think about the story I'm about to tell you. Tell me what you think about me. Good, bad, or indifferent. It doesn't matter. So thank you in advance. All right, so this is this is what happened. D-Bag took that part where I said, leave a comment, good, bad, or the indifferent, to heart. D-Bag <laughs> felt like he needed to leave a comment too sweet, and he did. And I appreciate D-Bag for this because I wouldn't have learned my mistakes. But this is what D-Bag wrote. <laughs> These are no Nana Lute. I'm saying it wrong, but basically he's saying they are not uh, yellow convicts. These are no Nana Lute. A lot of blah 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 in your video and you're talking about another fish he was right I was talking about the wrong fish and that's what the comments are for to share information back and forth not just between the people in the comments but the comments and the person who's making the video so what D bag has done is twofold one he showed me the error of my ways thank you for that D bag two he showed everybody in the comment section who read it how much of a D bag he is but wait there's more this video was also taken down from a facebook post because all the people on the facebook post felt like i was encouraging hybridization of this fish let me show you the clip and let me know what you think so they can interbreed um that is really really um look down upon. here's the thing I, i'm normally um don't care about hybrid fish you know 
the heart loves who it's going to love. You know, that type of thing. Um, it is what it is. But in this particular case, I, I, I am against hybridizing. And let me tell you why. They are a care so, um, In order to keep the species going, we got to try and breed them with themselves. Um, and once they're off of the cares list, you know, hey, whatever. Let 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 it be what it's gonna be. I don't know the exact level of endangered they are, but they are a, a species that we want to keep around. And as if you have them, try not to keep them with other convict species um, because they could hybrid. Try to keep them by themselves, and let's get let's get this species going and, and keep it thriving. It's a beautiful fish. Okay, so I said is whatever, whatever. I'm not one to tell you what to do with your fish. And when this fish is out of danger, if somebody wants to go and hybridize this fish, if if in fact it is out of danger, why are we so up in arms on telling other people what to do with their fish? Let me explain something to people. Every fish you have in your aquarium is a hybrid of some sort through mother nature. They're all hybrids. Over time, the fish, that blue-eyed or yellow convict, will end up hybridizing in nature. That's just nature, okay? So just, just wrap your head around that. But on a serious note, I do encourage people to, to um, let me know when I'm wrong. I'm not right all the time. Most of the time. But not all the time. In this particular case, D-Bag was correct 100%. That is not the fish, the yellow convict that I originally did the video. So like I said, I appreciate you, D-Bag. And I invite you to continue to show me, of showing me the error of my ways. And anybody else out there. But if you think I'm going to let you talk to me in a certain way that people don't talk to each other in society... Without me saying anything back, you're wrong. In fact, the conversation that me and D-Bag had back and forth, I didn't have time. I didn't put it all on. It went back and forth, back and forth. I actually get a kick out of it. So if you guys want to go and poke fun and troll me, go for it. I'll, I'll, I'll reply. Everybody says I shouldn't do it, but I, I just get a kick out of it. I get, I get the idea that you guys are just sitting at home. Because I don't. I, I sleep just fine at night. And as far as the people in the Facebook posts that felt I was encouraging how many times do I have to say I don't think anyone should do it but just because I'm one of these people who like eh, you know people gonna do it because I was chill about that you guys want to take that and just run with it y'all y'all just need to I don't know what do y'all need to do but y'all need to do something y'all need to do something um I didn't take and for those of y'all I didn't take my my um my that post out of Facebook um someone else did so I didn't run from nobody I didn't hide from nobody I've never taken a post down except for this one because it was incorrect but I stand by what I say and if I'm incorrect I will do a retraction video just like this so listen 